This is Larry Anaris making your day with the second and last part of uh, an article I wrote entitled The Wonderful World of Lisa Makuha. And I continue to quote and to conclude. Lisa did not dance in that particular program, only her professions, the professionals and ballet students did. Long before men sung, long before they made music and acted out their fantasies, men first danced. They danced to the rhythm of drums. Ba, 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 ba. They danced when they were happy and sad. They danced when they courted, fell in love and married. They danced to conjure up their gods or to summon the courage to go to war or to celebrate victory. The dance is the very first performance art and the ballet is its ultimate expression. And that is how the program started with a primitive rhythm dance of the Igorots, followed by Visayans dancing the mating game, accompanied by the piano, and Moros dancing in their weddings with bamboos a la Tinikling. And there followed a series of love stories, of love unrequited, of love of a blind girl whose boyfriend died and donated his eyes to her. And then a panorama of the youth of the day, full of exuberance and love of life and of the mating game. <laughs> the funniest scene of all was a group of young boys passing to each other an ignus fatuus, a will-o'-wisp, in which they passed on and in their imagination it took the shape of a ball, a bird, a bullet, even a barbell. <laughs> It was a riot. More about this after these messages. This is Larry Anaris making your day with the second and last part of an article I wrote entitled The Wonderful World of Lisa Makuha. In this program of Lisa, I laughed and I cried at the same time. <laughs> And I do so every time I watch her ballet. Why so? The scenes, the songs, the dances were all festive and joyous. So why did I weep? <laughs> Maybe it is because these same songs and scenes are part of our lives too. And because we share with Lisa and the rest of humanity remembrances of the first stirrings of the heart, of school and friendships, of love and marriage and children, and of common experiences, sad, joyful, and bittersweet, that are evoked so vividly by the strains of old familiar songs. And we weep. We weep for our lost youth, our forgotten dreams, and all the things that might have been for our loved ones departed, sadly missed and long remembered. I am of all for my late beloved wife, Cecilia. This then, my friends, is the wonderful world of Lisa Makuha, a world of beautiful women floating on air in slow motion in the firm grasp of handsome men, gliding like swans down the stage on twinkled toes, of shimmering costumes with kaleidoscopic colors from end to end of the stage as far as the eyes can see, as if the world of Lisa Makuha were one fantastic jewel fashioned into a planet. Ah, oh, my friends, May her world stay with us forever. This is Larry Anaris making your day, saying good day, God bless you. Thank you very much for being with us. Till next time, hasta la bye-bye.